Welcome back, I'm Ed Bell and in this video I'm here with Jacob Tischler Hello. and we're talking about writing with someone else, the art of collaboration or co-writing. Collaboration is a really important part of songwriting. Even if you're comfortable writing both music and lyrics, there's likely to be a time when you want to or have to write with someone else. And that's usually a good thing. Writing with other people is a great way to learn something new and create something different. It's difficult to be objective about what you create and having a collaborator to bounce ideas off is a great way to refine those ideas and take your writing somewhere new. And in the best collaborations, one plus one really does make more than two. Two people's ideas can combine in exciting and unexpected ways. But there's an art to making this work. How you take and give feedback is an essential part of collaborating well. So this episode is about the three most important things that we think make a successful collaboration. The best collaborations are egoless because the best collaborators know it's not about any individual person, it's about writing a great song. Great collaborators aren't worried about whose ideas are whose, they know it's their job to curate ideas as much as it is to have them. They take on a best idea wins policy and do what's best for the project as a whole. They give feedback about ideas and not about the people who came up with them. When a collaboration is trusting and open, everyone knows that they can be completely honest with each other. Being a great listener creates that kind of trust that is essential to a great collaboration. And it's important to listen carefully to what your collaborators are saying, even if you disagree. Getting defensive and closed off is the quickest way to kill a creative environment. Similarly, it's important to be direct and open if something isn't working for you. Even if your collaborator strongly disagrees, that disagreement is supposed to be part of the process. Who knows what other possibilities will come up out of that shared conversation? You have to trust the process to let that happen. It's obvious, but true. Collaboration is about how several people's ideas can come together. A team is always going to have lots of different ideas, and it's important to be open to how they might combine and interact in exciting and original ways. Yeah, that's right, and sometimes one collaborator will insist something has to be A, but the other will insist it's B. This sounds like a stalemate until you realize you can try C, or D, or E, or any number of other options. There's always a solution that makes everyone happy if you're willing to keep looking for it. Sometimes it's worth just trying things you're not sure about anyway. If it doesn't work out, you've not lost anything by trying. It's also worth checking the language you use when you collaborate. Your focus is refining ideas into better and better versions, not shooting down any ideas in progress. If you find yourself using words like no and but, rather than words like yes and 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 what if, it's worth thinking about how you can make your feedback sound more positive and forward-looking. Sometimes, it's the worst sounding ideas that lead to the most exciting things. And you don't want to get in the way of that. So there we go, a few thoughts on writing with other people. As always, there's much more about collaboration in the art of songwriting, our ebook. Thanks to Jacob for appearing in this episode. Thank you for having me. And next up, one of the most important parts of being a songwriter, learning to embrace what makes you unique. We'll see you over there.